Hey there, you're about to watch a quick clip from Marketing O'Clock, your friendly neighborhood digital marketing news podcast with new episodes every Friday. Don't forget to like and subscribe to us here on YouTube or look for Marketing O'Clock wherever you listen to your podcast. Okay, I actually have some fantastic news and I think this is actually a game changer if you let this pass by. This is what is going to start unlocking innovation in some of this chat GPT and AI technology. OpenAI runs chat GPT and Microsoft is a giant investor in chat GPT. Chat GPT now has an API called GPT-3.5 Turbo. It's the most powerful text generating model OpenAI offers today and it is an optimized, more responsive version. So advertise, whoever wants to use ChatGPT is going to have much better access to build tools, right? And having this API is what is going to unlock a lot, a lot more benefits for people because you can only do so much sort of using that tool as is and waiting for it to work. And there's a, a premium model and all that. But when you're talking about like, hey, I'm an ad creation tool right now you're going to be able to use this new api be able to pull in and generate potential you know text for your rsas or something like that so this api should be a game changer for what we see happen uh, the price is 0.002 dollars or like it's not even two cents. It's uh, a fifth of a cent, let's say, per 1,000 <laughs> tokens or using 750 words. So it's not too expensive. Um, and it can, according to OpenAI, drive a lot of non-chat applications. So a few people that are using it are Snap, Quizlet, Instacart, and Shopify. Uh, really cool. And also a big, big addition for usage of... ChatGPT within Bing is the fact that Windows 11 is now bringing the AI powered Bing to the taskbar. So if you are on your desktop and you are searching in the little search box that Windows machines have, you will have the ability to use ChatGPT within Bing. I tested it out. It's still a little bit wonky. It does. It sort of takes you to a, a, a interface, and then you have to like switch over and go to chat. But it's very, very nice. And I was like, I wanted to pull up an example that they gave. It's like, what are a six, a three course meal for vegetarians if you're having six people over for a dinner party? And it gave a list of what you could cook. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna change it quick and see what happens. And I'm gonna change vegetarian to keto and see if it understands it. It gave a keto Parmesan chicken, cheese balls, something like that, and a yeah. chocolate uh, low-carb cake. So really cool, and that's one of the things that Google has, that Microsoft has that Google doesn't, right? They, there's kind of like Chromebooks and things like that, but the majority of at least business users are on Windows. So Glenn Gabe says, we have Bing Chat Bing Chat in the Edge sidebar, and now Bing Chat in the Windows 11 taskbar. Microsoft is moving fast. I'm sure Google will implement BARD across Chromebooks and Android, but it's still in the works. Exciting times in search land. So everything is looking up for Microsoft. I hope that they don't fumble it somehow. And to me, the biggest thing is still if Apple ever breaks their contract or or not breaks but changes their main search provider from google to something like bing that's when it'll get really interesting that's what we need really get some competition going but i think they google plays like 10 billion or something like that a year it's, it's close so really fun times in chat gpt land thanks again for watching marketing o'clock We'd love you forever. If you'd like this video, subscribe to our channel and share it with a friend. And don't forget, you can also catch our Famous Friday news show on your favorite podcast player every week.